All right, let's see if it's going live. Oh, it's going live. Yay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I'm going to be shifting my camera around. Hi. Um, so, yeah, yesterday I went to the Goodwill outlet or the bins here in Austin for the first time ever. I've never been. And I went yesterday. Is it yesterday? I guess it was. Yeah. Um, I get my days mixed up. Anyway, and I hauled half of the stuff yesterday uh, to share with you, and I have the rest that I'm going to show you today. So the way I do this, if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Margaret. I am a homeschool mom that sells online, uh, partially, is one of the ways that I make money to support my family. And I, yeah, I've never been to the Goodwill bins, and I can see how it could easily one, become an addiction, but also be a really good place to source for selling on eBay because of all the stuff I got, I got about 52 items and I spent $45, which averages out to about 86 cents per item. And so that's a really good starting point to get a good return on investment uh, because I've been going just to regular thrift stores and stuff and, um, garage sales, which has been a little bit iffy for me here because it's not quite like it was back in Houston where I could just drive around. I had a certain area that I would go to and it was always really good. Um, most of the time, anyway, I'll say. Here it seems further and far between because neighborhoods have different requirements here. Anyway, so I'm going to share with you the rest of the things that I got. And the way I do this is that I look everything up um, so I can share with you what the prices are and you can see as we go along like what here's the item here's the eBay sold and stuff like that so you will see why I picked up what I did and before we get started let's uh, address the pancake in the room this is pancake he is the master manipulator don't let his cute sad face um, <laughs> uh, fool you or bring you in because he does this because he wants attention and he does gets all the attention um, so yeah say hey pancake He's like, oh, me? I've been petting him forever today, so don't make him, yeah, anyway. Anyway, let's do this. So I have these things in order, so I'm going to share with you in order. Um, hi, everybody in the chat. I am live. So, And if you're watching now or if you're watching later and you're ever interested in catching me live, um, just hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified. Normally, I post in uh, my on my Facebook page, Texas Gal Treasures, or in International League of Thrifters. Sometimes, if it's jewelry related, I'll, I'll post in um, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, but I I didn't do it today. So if you want to go do it, y'all can go do it for me. But that's one way to find out when I'm going live. And I've had people request, can you let us know, or can you do it in advance um, and let me know so I can make sure, but I don't know, because I homeschool, so I don't even know. <laughs> so I wish I knew. Um, yes, and this is ever, um, oh, Julie says that Pancake is sweet as syrup, and that's why we named him Pancake. We named him Pancake because he's floppy and sweet, because when you pick him up, he just goes Wee! like that and flops in your arm. Do I ever run into Bonafide Hustler when I thrift? Uh, every now and then I run into him at garage sales, um, but not too, too much, because I kind of stay where in my closer area. I mean, Austin's not that big compared to Houston. Um, so I don't run into him too, too much. Not too much. I wouldn't mind if I did. I mean, he's a good guy. Okay, so, okay, let's get started. So first item, y'all, I can't believe some of the cool stuff I found, honest, honestly. So here we go. You're going to get to see the the workings, the inner workings of what I'm looking at. Um, it's a cool little mirror tray. Oh, you're going to be blinded no matter what. You're just going to see weirdness. Okay, that's just my computer. Um, so this is the back of it, and somebody has put a, a hanging thing on it so you can hang it, but you can see that it doesn't technically go. There's the little things. I'm surprised it didn't even sell for the $5.99 that it was originally priced at, but it's cute. So it could be like a tray like this, or it could be hung if you wanted to hang it up. So, of course, I didn't find the same exact one, but I will flip it over. And no, I'm going to flip the screen over so you can see what, what I found on um, eBay. So I didn't, again, I didn't find the same one, but these are sold listings. So here's a resin ornate wall mirror for $10.49. It was on auction. I don't really do auctions. So this one's way bigger than what I've got. Mine's just a small little mirror. 
some of them are really expensive. But here's one about $20. And that's what I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to go in that $20 range. Some of these larger ones are quite expensive. Um, but let's see, did I also look it up? Uh, I feel like I looked it up on Etsy too, because I know I'm going to put it on both. So again, on Etsy, you can see there are some that are up for like $74. Some of them are a little more intricate and probably older than mine. But here's a cool one. This one's going for, I guess I need to check the size too. Some of these, it doesn't quite say. It's not clear the size. But I'm thinking maybe 20, 25 bucks is what I'm going to put on this because I think it's super cool. And it's got an added feature of kind of having these, hang on, let me flip it so you can see better. They're kind of like little fleur de -lis, like on there, kind of painted on there. Can you see them? These little, yeah, you're seeing my mess. And you can also see the little fleur de -lis on the back. So it's got that kind of extra added kind of French, I don't know if I'll call it French Regency, but kind of that style, you know what I mean? Um, let me say hey in the chat real fast. Hi, hi, everybody. And I'll get back to this. Thank you so much. Oh, gosh. Okay. This is what happens when I go live. Things are a little bit wonky sometimes. Um, oh, thank you, Sue. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Hello, hello. All right, let's move on and let me share with you the next thing. So, yeah, it's really pretty. And it's one of those things. This is kind of where it was like, well, I'll get it. And then if it doesn't sell, I'm not super sad because I'll keep it. All right, so then next I got this. It's new in package, carbon monoxide alarm. I was surprised it was still there. Uh, but it's still like totally new in package. So there's that. And these are still up and selling. I need to dust them. Um, so here you can see right around uh, this point, that $21.97. That's the one I've got right here because mine's a plug-in, not a battery-operated one. So that's that'll be pretty easy for me to just list and get it up there, right? Because there's not much to it. Um, oh, nice. Freeze always good. And then, <clears throat> yeah, that's pancake back there. If you're just coming in, surprise. Okay, the next thing I got, I need to test it. I'm reaching under because it's under the chair. Um, it's this dream machine. It's a Sony dream machine. And here's the thing with this one. If it doesn't sell also, or if it's not, this when I bought it, I was like, because oh, I don't do a whole lot of electronics. But my thought process was my kids have been really into like electronics and stuff lately. And this one's got some cool features like different sound, like a sound machine. It's got a radio in it. It's got, you know, so I could see them enjoying playing with it, you know, and tinkering around with it. Um, so, and it is an older model, but let's take a look. Ah, <laughs> yes, there's more. I only did half of it yesterday, Christine. Um, so here's the Sony Dream Machine, the one I've got. They, again, there are newer models of it. So it's not selling for a ton. Um, as you can see, there are a few that sold for really low, which I, I, would, I probably won't do that. But there's a few. Like, I would definitely make a video showing it working, make a video showing all the features and stuff like that, which I really believe helps sell the, the item. Almost all, I think I've got one, maybe two items up that I've made a video for that hasn't sold. Um, because they're just higher ticket items. But even some like jewelry that I've made videos of because I couldn't get good images of the stone, the video I think really, really helped sell the item. So that's what I would do. Instead of, I mean, working, telling it's working is awesome, but showing it's working is even better. Sorry, that thing is going to go off. It's in a bucket of watches, and by the time it's done going off, I can't find it. So anyway, let's see. Okay, um, so yeah, I'll probably list it in, if it's working, probably in that $15 to, to $18 range, even though I do see some that sold for less. And I may give it a few months. I, I don't know. We'll see if, if my kids are like, I really want that. And then I'll let them have it. So, uh, it's been a while. Hi, Chili. Okay, then let's see what we've got going next. Okay, the next item, I'm going to reach over here. I have it all spread out around me. I had to do this because I need to put it away. All right. Oh, Pancake, come on. Look how sad he He's the master manipulator. Look. Oh, he's so pitiful. Oh, my gosh. I'm sure he... I think he was a dog in another life. He, this is the one that plays fetch and, like, can give you the sad puppy eyes. He knows exactly what he's doing. Don't let him fool you. 
Okay, so next is this little pottery sign, and it's from Mountain Meadows Pottery, which makes it super handy to look up. And it reads, yesterday was is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift, that's why we call it the present. And that was in a movie, y'all help me, what movie was that in? Oh gosh, it was in a movie, like a really popular movie too. Anyway, so let's take a peek at this one. I think it'll sell. I didn't see this exact one on eBay, but I saw some of the same brand. And I know you guys are going to help me with that movie because it's going to drive me crazy. And so as you can see, like here's a few different ones. Are these sold? No, these aren't the sold ones. Um, but yeah, a few different ones are up there. Let's click solds and see. Like this one sold for $6.99 on auction. Here comes another cat. That's glass. Please don't step on that as if she could understand me, but maybe she can. Okay. Nope, apparently not. No, miss. Don't do that. So here are some other ones that sold um, with a different phrase on it. It looks like around that $12 or $13 mark. That one's $6.99. Maybe $10. I don't know. Anyway, even if it sold for $10, that's a pretty good profit on a dollar. Um, but I did look it up. So here's one of the exact same ones and this is on their website for $14.99 so likely I'll put it up for around 10 bucks and while that's not like huge it's it's a good return okay then what have I got for you next I'm trying I'm trying to be really oh my gosh this is another one that it was like already all rubber banded together I couldn't believe it so it was all together and they are placemats that, again, it was one of those, well, if they don't sell, I'll keep them. So they look like this. They're really cute. There's four of them. They're all really clean, in really good condition. The backs are polka dot. Aren't they cute? So there's four of them. And they were originally two bucks each at the other Goodwill. But they're super light. So anyway, so these ones, they don't have a brand name on them, so that's going to maybe hinder me a little bit so I'll just have to describe them really really well and let me show you what I found for those I didn't dive really super deep into um, the research because I was wanting to come on and show you what I got but here are some I put four roses placemats fabric because they're fabric so these are sold listings um, that are up there let's see you know, the, this one is, well, those are Halloween. I mean, but it's saying like $25. I don't know. But it feels like, let me Google it. It feels like there would be a lot of them up there. So let's go look. 311 results. It's not bad as far as results go. I mean, it's a lot, but still. I mean, they all look like they're right around that same price range. You know what I mean? 25 bucks for four. I like it. This person, whoever this is, they've got a lot of listings. They must really do a lot of uh, placemats. Go for it. I guess everybody needs a niche, right? Watch it be one of y'all. Let's go, let's go click on one and see if I recognize a store. Let's see. Galaxy Gift Curtains. Is that one of you? Come on, fess up. I know some of y'all really do a lot of linens and stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's pretty cool. And I like how they've got, this is a, a lesson in, I like how they, are very consistent in their photography so you could see like straight away what they've got and that's what an easy way to list too. 24.99 take it or leave it just put it up there okay cool we'll move on uh, so that's probably what I'm gonna do and yeah so there's that all right next for you for your viewing pleasure now tell me what you think if something is too low like I'm I guess I could redonate or Try to flip it locally. But, okay, so here's this. Kitty here. Uh, my grandpa is a real expert. He can tackle anything. It's a fishing mug. There's no brand on it. I think it'll sell. Tell me what you think. Okay, my, I forgot to grab my receipt to tell you how much the, the stuff weighs. I thought I could get a kid to bring, bring me my purse. Um, but the glassware stuff, anything like mugs or glass, um, it was 20 items for a buck ninety nine. So... I didn't go to the bins again. This is the other half of what I got. <laughs> I didn't share everything last time because it was too much. And I was trying to keep it contained to under an hour. <laughs> so, 
All right, so here's this mug. There are two, yeah, two of them up there. One for six twenty-five, one for nine forty. There were no solds of this mug. I there's no date on it, so I'm thinking I can also put it on Etsy because it, it's possibly vintage, um, most likely. And and vintage on Etsy is anything the year two thousand or more. Um, I like your optimism, Crypto Lock. Definitely. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is probably put it up for about $10, just make sure I have a good picture. And if I can't, if I feel like it's not going to sell, then I will just put it locally. Ginny's not having much luck with, luck with fishing mugs lately. When is Father's? No, Father's Day's already passed, hasn't it? Maybe for Christmas, right? Maybe. I feel like I sold a fishing mug recently. I mean, I haven't done a, a sales video in a little while, so maybe I need to pull out a sales video. Real one in. Okay, but worst case scenario, I mean, it was really an inexpensive pickup. Okay, then I did get another... Wait, let me see. Okay, next I got this one, which is like a pottery style mug. It's got like a grip in it, if you can see where it's indented. To, to try to make it nicer to hold, which is kind of cool. So I was thinking about, tell me what you think. I was thinking about listing it like a toothbrush holder or like for a bathroom type of deal in case you had like this style of bathroom. Tell me, um, again, tell me what you think. So again, I didn't do a ton, ton of research. Let me zoom back up to the top so you can see. Um, I put blue pottery stoneware toothbrush holder cup. And I could probably do a little bit better as far as describing it or looking for something like it. These are sold, you know, there's some cool ones up there. But it looks like around $10. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? Uh, but again, I'll have to do a little more digging because I feel like there are people that like this style. And it's that cobalt blue as well, which is nice. So we'll see. We shall see. I didn't, I don't know. I feel like I didn't do too bad my first time going to the bins. I could see very easily how it would be easy to buy way too much. Okay, so next I got this vintage. It's not actually vintage. Uh, it looks it and feels it, but it's, where did the date go? I know I saw it. 2012. So this one is not vintage, even though it looks it. It's a big old Hello Kitty mug right there. Hello Kitty. And then, there's the bottom, San Rio, et cetera, et cetera. It needs a good clean out. But, again, this one, meh. So there's one up there for 10 bucks. Are these sold? No, 10 bucks. And then, yeah, I don't think there were any when I looked at sold. And there we go. So, yeah, I But I did, here, let me talk to you about this real quick. I was going to wait. So I was looking at my eBay, eBay sold calculator, and... I wish I could see what he was doing back here. So basically, I was trying to figure out, like, okay, so if I sell something that I got from this lot for 10 bucks, you know, because normally I like to list things for, like, $15 more, you know, to try to make more off of it. But let's say that I ended up selling this for $10 straight, $10. Shipping on this will probably be right around a little less than 8 bucks because it will go into a padded flat rate, most likely. It's kind of big. So I'll put eight bucks for shipping. We'll just stick that on there across the board. Item cost 86 cents, eBay store, yes, top rated seller. So my profit would be $6.66, which is not so bad, okay? Um, so I need, like mentally I have to shift my, look at this thing. Look at him, that thing, look at him. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, I need to mentally shift my perspective and think, oh, okay, it's cool, because it's still six whatever dollars, and it won't take me very long to list it. I know some people say, oh, it's your time and energy, and this is true, but it's also, it won't take me very long. Okay, hi, everybody. Yeah, some people do price their mugs low, and that's the thing, that perceived value, I've talked to, a little bit about that to, to some of y'all before, um, where it's like, hang on, where did it go? I lost my do-to-do. The perceived value, one, take good pictures, get your really, you know, get a good list. I mean, look at the the title, you know, it doesn't have a whole lot of words in it. Um, so, like, I think I could maybe write a better title. I'm not picking on anybody. I'm just saying, 
you know, if you make your listing stand out, you know, the picture's a little blurry and, you know, the, the shipping's a little bit higher than I'd probably put. It does seem like I'm picking on somebody. But I'm just saying, like, if you look at your competition and, you, and then you think, oh, you know what? Maybe I could do a little bit better as far as drawing in a buyer. So there's that. And then there, again, the perceived value of, oh, this one looks nicer. The pictures are nicer. And, you know, the, it, it looks more professional. And, okay, I'm willing to pay those few four extra dollars for that sense of security, you know, when you go to a site that you feel like a little more secure buying off of. Well, it's the same way with different sellers on eBay. We do have Emma Bridgewater. What website are you getting that calculator? Okay, the calculator is Final Value Fee. Final Fee Calc.com is that right there. Final Value Key. Yeah. Okay, then next up is another mug. And this one, this was the first mug I saw when I was there. And this one is for Fox Sake, which is cute and fun. Um, so, for Fox sake, and this one's got cute little glasses on. These ones, again, also, we're not going for super much, but I didn't find the same one. This one's got glasses. <laughs> I've got to distinguish mine from the others, right? So, let me take off auctions because, I'm sorry, I'm looking over on the side. Give me a second. Where are you? Buy it now is what I want. Um... Yeah, I mean, still, there's a few that sold for in the price I would want. See, like here, that one sold $9.99. That would be okay. $14.99, that looks like a metal one. Enamel, yeah, okay. So, okay, maybe $10, $12. Mine's a little bit different because it's got glasses, so maybe somebody would like mine better because it's got glasses. I don't know. It's worth a shot, though. You know, and then you can always put, because I do best offer, so I'd probably maybe put this up for $14.99 best offer. Automatically accept anything over $12 and decline anything under $11. So, anyway, <laughs> he's just going to hang out there. Okay, next up I got this Disney mug and I kind of hesitate getting stuff with dates on them because it's so specific right so 2011 do you know how dogs do the thing where they like pretend like they're not looking and they like slowly try to climb onto the couch they like put their paw but they're looking away and then they slowly climb up this is what this cat does he's pretending to be asleep but his but his paw on my back is going like, he's still, like, patting my back, like, trying to get my attention, and he's pretending to be asleep. I saw that. He's like, no, I'm asleep, really, but pet me. Um, sorry. All right, so, I don't know why I keep apologizing. It's funny. All right, so, Walt Disney World, again, hesitating on the date because it's so specific. Someone would have to be looking for that date. Okay, and here is what I found. I found a couple of them, but they haven't sold so there's one that's an interesting choice on the picture but okay uh, so here's one that's up for $29 $5 Woo right $12.99 the price is all over the place 15 14 so 13 so I'll probably put mine I mean the prices are just everywhere I'll probably put mine in the middle somewhere um, but on solds, I don't remember seeing any, that's why. Yeah, just Starbucks ones. So, I'll probably do that. We'll see. Might take a while to sell. But that's fine. That's fine. Alright, and next up, hang on, I'm just going to move this so I can pull it up, is, wait, what was this one? Oh, okay. I was like, what is that? <laughs> All right, so next up we've got this, which I think is really cool. I can't quite figure out, okay, if you can see, it's, you know, very asymmetrical. Hmm. Here's my dilemma. Is this, tell me what you think, is this a utensil holder, like for your kitchen, or is it a vase? Or is it both? 
or neither. What do you think? A planter? It's awfully tall. That's the thing. But I liked it. Anyway, the bottom says Blue Donkey, Leah. And then there was a sticker, but I can't make out any of the words on it. This is the inside. There's a style. I mean, I know this is like a stoneware. But it almost looks like there's paper towel embedded in it or something and like lacquered over or like can you see that it looks like almost like a paper mache or something in there i don't know so you think a vase yeah oh yeah definitely texas blue bonnets i don't know i again isn't it cool i think somebody's really gonna like it and um yeah Oh, okay, cool. So, um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put on it because I couldn't find one like it. So, I put Stone Rare, Blue Bonnet, Face, and, yeah, couldn't really, you'd use it as a vase, yeah. It's just big. You need a big bouquet. So, here's one, $29.99. I think this one is cool enough that it could sell for a good amount. I just have to make sure I really... Oh, they use netting for that effect. Thank you, Jenny. Um, I'll have to really describe it well. And I know this is a certain style. There's a style to this where it's got like this kind of like fady sort of blue, like when it, what do you call that? Like it almost looks like it's dripping, but it's not. And I don't know. I have to learn. This is what, this is one of the exciting parts of this job is you get to learn all kinds of things that you never knew you needed to know. So, you think it's a handmade slab vase? Like, they just took the flat pieces of pottery, slapped them, get, some, get them wet, lick them, put them in the kiln, pull it out, paint it, lick it again for fun, stick it back in. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, pretty cool. I think it's going to do pretty well, and I still don't know for how much, but probably, I'll probably put it up between $30 and $40, which would be awesome if it actually sold for that amount. Unless you think I could do more. Tell me what you think. I think I could sell it locally pretty easily, too. I think it would sell. You go over there. There. Okay. You used to make those, Jessica says. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, a dry vase. Okay, with faux flowers. Nice. Good idea. Okay, then what do I have next for you? Okay. This is another thing that let me make sure I grab the right thing stick wood metal here okay this is it this is another one that I thought you know what I could sell this locally I might actually end up selling this locally it's really dusty and gross um but it's one of these like arches like wood and metal kind of rustic you could put like plant or something in there this is people's style some people like this style and then you hang it on the wall and it's like, I've got a pretend cathedral window. Isn't that fancy? Yeah. <laughs> so, that thing is dusty, y'all. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I got some dust in my mouth. All right. Then, here's this. Um, these are solds. He's like giving me a massage on my back. Um, mine is pretty small. It's not as ornate as this $200 one. <laughs> I was trying not to do that. 170 Look at these big ones, though. I mean, that's, that's a big one. I thought I put small in my title. I don't, <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what I'm going to list it for. So, uh, let's go back. We'll take it out of solds. So you can see these are some that are a little bit smaller. I like this architectural um, word. you got to be careful using Shabby Chic because that's a brand name, and I think you can get Vero'd for that, um, for Shabby Chic, if it's not Shabby Chic, because that's keyword stuffing or something like that. No charge for the dust. That's right. They should like not weigh the dust because some of this stuff is really dusty. Um, yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you think on the price because... This is really cool. That one's cool. But mine's small. So maybe maybe 20 bucks I'm thinking. But I might try I might try selling it locally like I said. Just because it's so specific. 
We'll see. If it doesn't sell quickly locally, then I'll, uh, I don't know. I'm on the fence about how much to sell it for. Because I want to get the, the good price for it, but then if I sell it locally, usually people are like, I don't want to pay that much. Do you see that? Like, you saw his eyes close. As soon as I moved where you could see him, he closed his eyes to pretend. Are you pretending again? I need to add pancake to my thumbnail, apparently. <laughs> okay, next up. But I found some cool stuff, huh? I found some glasses. And I've sold Warby Parker before. These are Warby Parker. And they're an online company, I think. Glasses company, Warby Parker. Where you can get, like, frames to try out. And they're really handy when you want to try to sell them because it tells you, like, the, the model over here, too. So... So here are these glasses. These are sold. This one sold for $28.49. These sold for $15. Uh, these ones sold for $12. So as you can see, there's quite a few on here of this particular model that have sold for $20 or more in certain cases. Oh, they're puppy. That's cute. Um, I probably would not do that because if I had a dog allergy, I would not buy from you. But that's cute. Okay, so as you can see, they're up there for... So if I sell these, then that could pay for like half of my haul right there. Boom. Oh my gosh, y'all. This dust is driving my nose crazy. Excuse me. Yes, this is my other half of the Goodwill bin haul, um, Heather. Okay, so next I found another pair of glasses. And these ones are like these vintage -y ones. Uh, they, they, as you can see, they don't have much prescription in them. I think they might actually, they might even be safety goggles. What's that? Like, it's on both of them. Do you see that little mark right there? You see those little marks? Um, be, the reason I say that, too, is because when I looked them up, they talked about safety glasses. Oh, you haven't heard of Warby Parker before? Yeah, they, um... They're a fair brand. I've sold some before. <laughs> so this brand is called Titmus Glasses. And uh, there are quite a few that this brand does that are safety glasses. Like, say, you know, safety glasses. So here's a few that look similar to mine. Looks like somebody got um, sunglasses put into theirs. But these are not sold. So let's go back and look at sold. See, those look like mine. They're trying to sell for 54. That's not mine. 18 over here. Ah, where'd my swords go? Here we go. Um, I don't put the prescription in. Lisa's asking, how can, oh, Bailey says, how can you tell if they're prescription? How do you describe the prescription? I, I don't. Um, basically, I just sell them as refillable prescription. Like, so if you wanted to go get your prescription put in them and you like the frames, then you can do that. So that's just how I do it. Yeah. And I've sold many, many a pair of glasses like that. So oh uh, says Christine says some companies mark the lenses. I have prescription glasses with marked lenses. Oh, that would drive me crazy too. It's like the mark on the back of your car when you buy it from the dealership. Randy always makes him take it off. Well, always. The last trick he got he was like, do not put that metal. I said, and he's like, unless you're going to pay me to advertise for you, get it off of there. And so they did. They took it off. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm with him. <laughs> you better pay me if I'm going to advertise for you. Give me a discount or something. Um, so, yeah, these ones, did I click sold? I can't remember now. I didn't see any that sold, but I'll probably still just put them up around the same range that the other ones are up there for. Okay, next. Oh, let me know if you're enjoying this video. If you're watching, go down there and hit the thumbs up button because, and if you're watching later, let me know in the comments if you've ever been to a Goodwill outlet bins. I feel weird calling it the bins because I feel like that's like the trendy name and then I would be such a poser if I was like, I went to the bins. 
Um, I don't know why, uh, because I don't know. I never go. It's new for me. So I went to the bins today and I got some stuff. And I'm not trying to be a poser, but I really did. <laughs> All right. So next up, I got some frames, which I don't sell a whole lot of, but there were some cool ones. And again, it was that like, well, if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it. You know, and this is a cool one. It looked like stained glass. It's not, though. It's some kind of plastic or resin or something in there. It's like a, almost like a fabric-y, I don't know. It's weird. So I think this was cool. Um, those of you that sell frames, tell me. Do you try to put, do you put a picture in there? I could print like a bit, picture of a cute baby or something off the internet. Stick a cute baby picture in there. Or do you just sell it like this? Either way would work. But, so there's that. I got this frame. And again, that's not really glass. But I couldn't find one like it. Um, I'm in the in crowd. I'm in. Yes, finally. Okay, I'm out now. It's like Groucho Marks. I wouldn't want to be a member of a club that, wait, I wouldn't want to be in a club that would have me as a member. <laughs> Isn't that what he said? Um, <laughs> so now I'm out. Um, okay, so these are actual stained glass picture frames. Mine is like a faux one, and these are sold. So, you know, and I didn't see one that was kind of minimalist like this one. So I might try to sell it. Oh, I might I just really have to describe it. I need to ask a stained glass person what this style is called, where it's not really, it's not super ornate like some stained glass is. It seems almost like a Frank Lloyd Wright, you know what I mean? Where he's just got the straight, clean lines, you know, kind of like a very simple, clean, symmetrical, good keywords. Don't forget those, Margaret. Okay. But I mean, to me, that's what it reminds me of. Kind of like a Frank Lloyd Wright type deal, type piece. I wonder if I could use that. What's the style? <laughs> Maybe I could do that. Okay. So there's that. Maybe I'll put... Mm, 15 to 20 dollars on that next uh, oh that's that same I was looking for the base again okay the next item was another thing I was surprised one the quality that I found in the bins and I was surprised it was still there and I was surprised it was just there so I found this in the bins and it is a leather wallet. It is in really, really good shape, which is what surprised me so much. I called it red earlier. Now I see it's more pink. So it's like a magenta-y pink. And then I was able to read the brand right there, and it says Leaders. And I had to do a little digging, and there is a brand called Leaders in Leather, and they have a whole site, Leaders in Leather, and so I, they're not still selling this particular wallet anymore. But as you can see, like here's one of their wallets. It's very similar. And this wallet, which is similar to what I've got, is selling on their site for $70, which I think is amazing. <laughs> and here's another one, 70 bucks. So my, this, my Leaders in Leather wallet, here's a red one that sold for $31.50. And, and that may be the problem because I think I might have put red in there and it's really more pink. But as you can see, this wallet, is this sold or no? No, let me click on sold. Um, there's a few. Okay, that's $14.99, $18, that's on auction. But even if I sell it for $20, bucks, that is a really good find, I think. And it looks nice. Um. Remember, the, the bins is where all the overpriced items from Good will go. I love that. I love it now. So, um, yeah, that one is probably going to go up for 20 bucks as well. I think we're going to make a really good profit on this team. Good job. Good job. All right, next, so that's the Leaders in Leather wallet. And Micah, that makes sense. Okay, I was like, what is this? It's like layered like mica, that's for sure. It almost looks like tape. You know, wait, where'd it go? My my chat just jumped. Oh my gosh, where'd it go? 
M. Damboise, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, around the, yeah, totally. Like, it looks, because you know Micah's got that, obviously you know, because you just told me. So, I'm going to have to go back. Um, how much did I spend? I spent $46, $45, $45 and something cents, somewhere in there. Okay, next up, we have got uh, something else new in package. I've lost it now. Where did it go? Is it hiding? Did I put it under something? Nope, oh, there it is. Found it. Again, new in package. It, the package is kind of bumped up, but the pieces are still in there. So it's a Brita pitcher filter replacement filters. So that will be easy for me to pop up there and sell. And so these are sold. And that's a five pack. What's mine? This is a three pack. So here's a three pack that's sold for $12.99. This one says it's good for all, all Brita pictures, right? Is that still true, do you think? Where did it say that? Fits all. Fits all Brita pictures and dispensers. So, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe $12.95. Do they all fit them all? Or, I, I don't know. Are there some that are universal and some are not? It seems weird. Because they don't all look the same, certainly. Anyway, so probably in that $15 range is what I'm guessing. $12, $15. Three pack, eleven nine nine. Anyway, Mary. Okay, Mary. Hey. Okay, so next, what have I got for you? Ah, more frames. Okay, so I picked up these two little frames. They're little square frames. They are vintage, and I could tell because of the back. They have that kind of like velvety back on them. So I'll need to get some... Oh, I never did look in the, the, ch the chat to see. Oh, nobody answered it. Okay, good. So, I, you know, I'll probably put something in there because it's just cardboard. So it looks like a mess. So I'll sell those probably together since they match. A two little, cute little square frame lot. That will be good. And here's what I saw. These are sold. So there's two that sold for 11 bucks right there. Hmm. I mean, I'll probably do that right in that kind of range. I think I looked on Etsy. No, I didn't look on Etsy too for this one. Um, but yeah, I'll probably put them up probably in that $12 to $15 range. Loretta, uh, Jenny says, my favorite bin find was a stick signed by an ex-governor of Georgia, paid 17 cents, sold for 75. Ooh, that's awesome. <laughs> His, yeah, that's interesting. A stick, huh? A stick. Like a cane? Or like a stick? <laughs> like a straight up stick. Am I misreading that? No, it says stick. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I'm trying to picture it. Just a stick. If I'm digging through the bins, I don't know that a stick would be on my radar. <laughs> but hey, you know. Okay, next, I also picked up this hinged... Um, frame and this again these were ones that I was like well you know if I don't sell them I can put them on my bookshelf you know what I mean because they're cute they're vintage they're kind of more my style than some of the newer ornate like type stuff so it had a big story behind it okay <laughs> this is sick okay so here's some sold listings there are a few like this one was five bucks Meh. I don't prefer selling it for five bucks so I might just keep it, honestly. Yeah. And I had a feeling, like, I don't think this one's going to do so so great. There's a whole lot of them. I guess I could hang on to it and see if I get a bunch of, bunch of them. Because then I guess if somebody was having, like, a, a whole de change of decor and they needed, like, a bunch of these to put all over their grand piano or whatever, then they would buy a bunch of them. So probably that's what I'll do. I'll just use it, put my kids' pictures in there, and put it on the shelf. Okay, then I've got a couple more frames to share with you. One of them is a stained glass frame, which is cool. So this one is actually a stained glass, and it's got these little baubles up top. It's pretty cool. I like it. I mean, it's kind of got a deco-y feel to it, kind of. So there's that. And this one, 
These are sold. I'm not going to sell it for a buck sixty. It surprises me that some of them don't sell for that much. But I'll probably put it on Etsy as well. I mean, look at that. That's really pretty. So that was $14.99. I might do around the same. I might do around $15. <coughs> around $15 and just put a best offer of it. See, look, they put a baby. Maybe I'll stick a baby in mine. Yeah, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll put it around $15 with best offer on it. Or I'll keep it because it's still kind of cute. Okay. I don't, I'm not, a, I, I know there are people that have like a ton of picture frames and like pictures all over the, I don't, I'm not that kind of person. I don't, I don't know why. I just don't tend to have a lot of pictures all over the house. Photographs of people. I have some. I had more before. Maybe I need to put some out. Hi. Hi everybody. Okay. Then next I picked up, oh, this is an Aaron Brothers frame. Again, same deal. And it's not selling for a whole lot either. I might try to sell it locally. The person prior put a string on it to hang it. Looks like that. Because it doesn't have a stand. I guess you could attach a stand to it or something. Yeah, I might try to sell it locally. It's cute enough. Let's see what it says on here. Yeah, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot for that one. Maybe I should steer clear of frames. <laughs> Live and learn, right? Now, the next thing I picked up, that's not it. That's not what I'm going to show you, is, uh, are these other, again, frames. But I just thought they were so unique. I wasn't quite sure how to describe them. So they look like so. They're really minimalist. I opened something in the back room. Hang on. There. And, yeah, they just kind of, it would be cool if they folded up, but they don't. So it's like that. There's one. I got four of them. That, that's the one that's kind of a gold tone. And then these ones are, there's three like this. Like a black sort of metal frame around them. So, yeah. Do you ever buy to resell locally? I don't necessarily. I bought something from a lady in the jewelry group locally. I just don't have time to look. I'm sure there's probably good deals and stuff, but I just, I don't have time to look. So anyway, I wasn't quite sure how to describe this, so I'm going to have to figure that out and see if there's a market for it. Because it's so minimalist, I could see it, somebody really liking it. I don't know. Anyway. Ah, sweet. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I think it's going to be easy to be hooked. And I told my kids, and they really, really, really want to go. So maybe... If we go on a Sunday, maybe, or a day that's not too busy, I'll have to find out what days are not super busy. Um, and get them some gloves in case they dig in. Hi, Pancake. What you doing? Okay. Um, I think that time of frame is a clip frame. Okay, I'm going to definitely look that up. Okay, then I got these. They're like, there's a thing called a page up. I sort of like these little page ups. So these I'll give to my kids to, because we homeschool. And they need doodads, apparently. Um, and then I got these, but I have already decided I'm going to keep them. These are four coasters. Bye, Pancake. And they have these really cool mosaic kind of designs on them, like so. So these ones I'm going to go ahead and keep because I don't have a whole lot of coasters. And so I think they're cool. So I'm going to keep them. Oh, gosh. Pancake. Why? Uh, but I looked them up. I couldn't find the exact ones because they didn't have a brand on them or anything. But as you can see, you know, here's a lot of 10 square ones that are blue and white for 10 bucks. I'll just keep them. <laughs> do you have this problem when you go, If you, those of you who go to the Goodwill outlet, do you have this problem where you end up keeping stuff? I have found a lot of stuff for our house. Yes. Yes, I have. Okay, next up, this is something I'll, I don't know, I'll probably give it to one of the kids. I saw it and I was like, oh, fun. Uh, Pancake's about to jump on the computer. So it's a little dragon, like resin. Oh, I just noticed there's like, oh no, it's just a scrape. I thought it was a stamp. So just like a little resin dragon. <laughs> I think they, they sell these at like the dollar store or something. I don't know. I looked it up and I found one for sale, but none that were, were sold. So like there were dragons, resin dragons. And let me click and see if it'll show up again. 
Where is it? Where did it go? There. There's one. It's like five dollars. Um, I don't think this is quite desirable. You know what I mean? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe it'll sell locally. Or maybe one of my kids will want it. I don't know. <sighs> maybe you should have taken it out of the cart, Margaret, and decided not to get it and bring it home. Now you got to figure things out. Great. All right. Next up, I picked up a hat. And this is a real tree brand hat, which at first you think, oh, no biggie, whatever. It's just a camo hat. But no. But wait. It has more. It has, what do they call it? Hang on. Pretend like I started that right. But wait. What else has this hat got? It has panther vision. Wow. My panther was not a very convincing. I need a much deeper panther growl. Wow. I can't growl like a panther, dang it. Okay, you know where I'm going with that. Think infomercial. Okay, and I'm going to blind you for a second. It's got two sets of lights. There's a button here. You click one, those lights come on. You click the other, that light comes on. You click it, and both of them come on. <laughs> so there's that. With panther vision. So, <laughs> it's like, did you see Ron Burgundy? The Anchorman? Panther. <laughs> what was it called? Pan it was like... I can't remember. The claw came out. All right, whatever. Moving on. So they, they are actually aren't selling for that much. So Panther Vision hat. Is this new? A new one, 1720. And yeah, Jenny says, looks like the decor of the Vietnamese nail salon. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there's a couple. This one, brand new, 21. That one's got some reflective stuff on it. Five bucks over here. I think my kids might actually like it because it's got lights in it. So I might clean it. I mean, it's actually really clean. It looks practically new. Panther Power. Like they've got it shining in your face for $10. So maybe. We'll see if the kids don't want it. <laughs> then I'll sell it, you know. Look at that. That's the battery pack right there. Okay. Panther Power. Maybe. We'll see. Um, or I'll sell it. Try to sell it for 12 bucks or so. Um, let's see, <laughs> I'm missing something in the chat, I'll have to come, drumsticks, da, da, da. I'm sorting and getting rid of old photos that faded, so, oh yeah, oh yeah, good half for trick-or-treating, that's a good call, totally. All right, let me flip it over and share with you guys what I have next for you. Okay, I'm gonna. T I I bought something. I bought three of them, and they don't sell for that much. But because I bought three of them, tell me if you know what it is. I can create one listing, and do quantity three. Anybody know what this bad boy is? Boom, 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 boom. It's a long one. Da -da 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 -da. It's orange. Ba -da 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 -da. It's lightweight. I don't know. <laughs> it's called a forearm forklift. And I knew what it was when I got it. Because I was like, oh, that's for moving like heavy stuff, right? So that's that. I got three of them. They were super lightweight. So I was just like, yeah, okay, I'll get those. Um, they're only selling for use that is for like here's one that sold for 680 new but here's one sold for six bucks I don't know anyway look at that 16 bucks so what I'm gonna do dang four bucks maybe I misjudged that one but anyway so let's come back over here so let's say I sell them for six bucks uh, I'll probably gonna charge how much does this thing weigh I'm guesstimating. Here we go. Ready, set. It's probably like five ounces, maybe, maybe. So we'll put three bucks here. So it could definitely go into six by four by four or in the, even a little envelope. So three bucks. Item cost, blah, blah, blah. So three, six, seventy six. But if I wanted to make one listing, what do you think? Oh, tell me what you would do. I could just sell them locally too. You know, that might be good. There's probably somebody locally that's like, oh, we're, we're starting a, a moving company. 
maybe a young college little crew starting their moving company. I'm, s I'm selling it to myself. They're going to start a moving company and they need these things. <laughs> yes. Okay, the last thing I saved the best for last. I knew this brand when I got it. It's called Eric Javits. And I can't, one, again, I can't believe the shape this is in. It's in such amazing shape. I put it on the thumbnail. I, and this is a straw hat. It's a really nice brand. I'm trying to tell if that's the way that's supposed to be. I think it is. Um, and here's the inside. It is one of the SPF, like U, UPF, anyway, 50. You can see in there. And it's got like a sweatband in the front. And it looks like it's probably never been worn. This thing comes out so you can wash it. And it's a really, really good brand. Okay, so let's take a peek at Eric Javits brand. So these are sold. Um, and as you can see, here's one that sold for $97, $85, $96. Crazy money. $69. So I was really, really, really happy to see this hat there. Very happy. I feel like they make purses too. I think that's maybe how I got to know them. So my hat was on here. I saw it. There it is. This is a new one. New. Mine is not new. Mine is used very likely close to being new. So what am I going to put on it? I can't believe it. There are some up there. Yes, totally. Um, let me take off sold. And I saw another one up there. Like here's one up there pre-owned for $89.90. 90 bucks, y'all. None of bucks. So this purse, I mean this hat, could um obviously, yeah, make my money back and then some. And double it, right? So let me pop up here and see if it's the purses that I got. Because I feel like I had an Eric Javits purse. I think I had two of them. And that's how I knew the brand. Yeah, they do. And it's like a really tight, you know when you know a straw purse or any kind of straw type material that's like a higher quality, you know, like you just see it and you're like, that's a way nicer quality. A lot of times when you see hats that have the, the UPF inside, it might be worth looking at, you know, where it's got the sun protection built in. Nice, nicely done. Is it pushed in? Like that's the back. Is that what you mean? Like that. It's adjustable. It's got like a little adjustable strap on the back. And then, yeah. So that's it. That's my fancy hat. That's going to make back all the money. And then I don't care that I bought some things that won't sell for that much. Because <laughs> I got a fancy hat that will. Y'all want to say hey to Daniel now that he's here? Daniel's getting big. There's Daniel. He looks like pancake, but not as floofy. And more angry. He's stinky. It's like smelly cat. Do y'all ever watch Friends? Sometimes he smells. Like, what happened? <laughs> I don't understand it. Are they jutes? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. That one says bamboo handles. I'm not sure. I will hold it up. You tell me. Does it look jute? I don't know a whole lot about that kind of stuff, to be honest. Okay, so again, this is really handy for me, the um, final fee calculator, so I can kind of get an idea for, okay, I spent 80 something cents on this, even if I sell it for six bucks, what's my profit going to be, so that I can kind of gauge, like, is it going to be worth, is that $3 going to be worth me flipping this, or just put it up locally? We also have, like, um, in our area, it's called totally free, or buy nothing, and it's sort of like a karma type of site where you can if you don't want to go take it to the um to redonate you can put stuff up there so i mean that's another thing because then some people will look and see oh is is this person just a taker or are they also a giver and you want to be a giver in those communities so when you see something that you want people are more likely to give to you so maybe i can be a giver <laughs> and give a couple things that i'm just like eh. You know, I could take them to redonate, or I could be a giver and <laughs> spread my branches. It's weird. Okay, 
you guys, thank you for, for coming to hang out and see what else I picked up for my haul from the bins. The bins, y'all. Um, and I will, I will be back. Y'all know I will. And I'm really going to try to not go a lot. I want to make sure I get this stuff listed. So that's what I'm going to do probably tonight. I'm going to pull an all-nighter and get some pictures in. Maybe not an all-nighter. Maybe till midnight. So, Heather says, I take things to the thrift store that gives a, a dollar voucher. And my Savers does. They give like a coupon. So, like, I could take some of it to Savers and then some of it put on the Buy Nothing site. So that I can be a, a giver. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I did get footage from the bins that I can... I'm going to edit and put up. I just need to do voiceover on it because... It's got music in the background, and YouTube doesn't like that at all if you're doing that. So go hit that thumbs up, and I will talk to you on the next one. Only now, here, I'm looking all over the place because I can't find the I can't find the right window where I turn it off. There it is. Okay. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. I enjoyed showing you all this stuff, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Here we go again. Yes.